Hey guys, Les here, aka Gorth Valiant, and today I want to talk about garbage racks. Just tell you my thoughts, etc. Sorry about my hair, it's a bit crazy, like usual, that's my style. And before we get that, if you're a new subscriber, I own a little event rental business here in my local town. We do have a little commercial space, as you can see, with a bunch of chairs and tables. And today, I want to give you my opinions on the old garment racks. So, as you can see, this is the garment rack in its full, in its working position. That bar can actually go a bit higher, and it folds up nicely into something like this, which can easily fit in a car. Really, there's no problems. It's not that big. So you, uh, if someone's picking up in a car, they can definitely take, you know, a bunch of these, six even, or something like that. They can even put them in their back seats. These are the garment racks. They're a little annoying. We get them from Uline, okay? That's a popular place to get them from. I think they supply both Canada, we're in Canada, and the USA. So let me just give it a little... Uh... This also uh, folds in, okay? The most annoying part about these garden racks are these hangers. Let's talk about that in a second. I just want to give you a quick overview in terms of cost. We buy these garment racks for just under a hundred bucks Canadian, and we rent them out for fifteen dollars plus tax Canadian. So we do make our money back eventually. So far this year, we've made about thirteen twenty-five off of the garment racks, and oddly enough, they are still somewhat popular in the winter time because people tend to use these uh, indoors. Uh, so if you're having an event, say, at a community center. People are going into the community center. You know, they might not want to be lugging around these big jackets. So they'll rent uh, a couple garment racks. These hangers are the annoying part. Adam in Tent Guy and other entrepreneur stuff talks about how annoying this is. I still haven't really figured out. <laughs> you see, I, I like to touch it and it's like falling off. We keep them in boxes like this. And they seem to work well. And usually people put them back in boxes. And recently I started sort of giving people a sheet saying, please put the hangers nicely back into boxes because it's a real pain in the butt to deal with them. Anyway, that's the hanger. Pretty straightforward. A decent side item. Again, tables, tent, chairs. Those are your main items that will go out. Uh, hangers won't go out that much, but eventually they will start going out if you add them into your inventory they add they are asked for on a semi-regular basis and uh, they go out every second weekend in the winter time and almost every weekend in the summertime a couple of them anyway so not, not a bad side item but a little bulky a little messy i mean i don't exactly know how to store them uh, most of them are actually out this weekend oddly enough from a movie company uh, we, we kind of store them up on this racking and it actually works really well. We used to store them up here, but they would just like tangle within each other and it became kind of a, like annoying to try to pull them out because they're kind of tangled among each other. So they work really well on, on there, as you can see. Guys, take it easy. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and we'll see you later. Let's get some business done.